This is a surgical mask that has been used for about the whole day and this is the blue part of the surgical mask which I have been used on the uh, outer side so siya yung nasa harap ng mukha ko and then yung white side yun yung nasa face ko mismo so ito yung nasa outer portion as you can see it has fulfilled its job of collecting dust particles and as you can see some strands are translucent blue and some part of the surgical mask are have bluer strands more prominent blue strands compared to the other so I don't know what uh, chemical they used to make this uh, side uh, blue and I've heard that the purpose of it is that this side should be waterproof and there are also parts of this mask that have these um, parang nagkumpul kumpul and so for each um, each side I think it's uniformly aligned merong mga area na merong square na strands na nakakumpul so usag natin ulit yan meron na naman siyang nakakumpul and then pag inusog natin ulit meron tayo ulit makikita na side na nakakumpul and again um, at the back side of this um, strand is the bluer parang chemical yata siguro to eh, na nilagay nila para maging waterproof But then again, it does its job of collecting this dust para hindi ko siya ma-inhale. So, ayan. Hanap pa tayo ng mga malalaking dust na supposedly dapat na-inhale ko pero um, na-filter na itong uh, surgical mask na ito. Let's still explore this part. So, yan siya. Parang kanina may nakita akong malaking ano eh. Parang hair strand nga. <laughs> Hanap tayo na malaking dust particle. Uh, Nakulag. Like. Let's see dito sa bottom part. Ayan. Ayun. Bang. Ito yung parang hair strand. Ayan. So kung hindi dahil sa surgical mask na ito, itong flying hair strand na ito, or whatever it is, I could have inhaled it. So, ang, on the actual size, let's see, Sandag, saglit lang. Um, kuha ko ng ruler para makita natin kung gaano kalaki ang strand na yan. Hang on a second. Let's see kung masasukat natin sa ruler na kasama dito sa microscope and let's see kung gaano kalaki supposedly yung hair strand na yan. so ang ruler na kasama sa microscope na to is millimeter 
millimeter. So, let's see. Yan. Simulan natin sa zero. Oops. Um, bear with me. I'm still studying how to use this. So, ayan yung ruler na kasama. Start tayo sa zero millimeter. Asa na yung guhit? Asa taas ba? Hindi na ko ulit, ha? Ah, nasa baba. Ayan. So, this is zero millimeter. Ayan, yung unang-unang side na yan. At ito yung hair strand. So, isa, one, two, almost three. Tingnan ko ulit. Wait lang. One, two, three. So, ang size ng hair strand is about three millimeters. Up, oh, usag natin yung ruler. Ayan. Medyo pasensya na, medyo sensitive dahil um, according to the claim of this microscope, the zoom is about 1,000 times. So, yan. Let's count how many millimeters ang size nitong hair strand na to. Nausog na naman yung ruler. Asensya na. It's really hard to control. But let's do our best. Okay. So that's it. One. Two. Almost three millimeters size ng hair strand. Na, uh, supposedly, I, my inhale ko if not from this um, surgical face mask so it really has done its job of filtering what's in the air so again ito yung blue part which is nung ginamit ko siya siya yung nasa labas ngayon silipin naman natin kung ano yung nasa loob yung white portion kung nakakolek din ba siya ng dust na na, in, uh, na exhale ko let's see and I wish this is clean because this side is the side that is in my face so there are visi visible uh, dust from some of the strands but it was it seems to be trapped from the outside I don't know so hindi siya nakalusot so it has effectively done its um, job of filtering the air around me oh Meron na namang hair strand from here. Oh, ito yata yung ano. Ah, hindi. Oh, I think yun din yata yung kanina. Although I'm not sure. But then again, ayan. Na-filter siya ng surgical mask. So, this, I could have uh, inhaled this if not from this mask and this can cause uh, an allergy and can cause sneezing and can trigger some colds kung na-inhale so yan yung fabric niya sa loob medyo parang translucent na white and wala siyang mga ano kumpol Unlike dun sa blue side, meron siya mga kumpol-kumpol na square part. Sa loob, ah, meron din pala. 
Ayan. There also portion na merong kumpol ng uh, fabric like this one so meron pa rin mga maliliit na mga um, strands na na-collect but I'm pretty sure na yan na trap sila sa loob So, hindi ko siya na-inhale. And before we end this video, let's try to look at the seams dito sa gilid na portion ng uh, surgical mask. And yung seams niya yung pagitan. Ito yung part na nakadikit mismo sa face mo. Then, silipin natin kung makita natin yung part na merong metal. So, supposedly, ito yung part na may metal. May red na strand na yung nakikita rito. Ah. Interesting. <laughs> ano kaya ito? Some random uh, strand na nandito sa surgical mask sa loob na portion baka pinang tahi hindi siya visible sa mata eh. so definitely maliit siya hindi ko siya nakikita at hindi ko na siya mahanap ngayon <laughs> nandun siya banda sa part ng dito sa pinaglalagyan ng metal part yan siguro ito yung pinantahe dun sa ano sa metal part ng surgical mask tingnan natin sa kabilang side pasensya na ako nakakahilo so ito yung kabilang side ng metal part ng surgical mask at wala naman ako nakikita ng same red strand so it could be just a random strand I think so if you know the answer guys please comment below I absolutely have no idea kung ano yan and as you can see meron na namang na trap na isa na namang hair strand dito And meron akong nakikita rito na malaking dust particle na visible sa mata. Tingnan natin kung anong itsura niya sa microscope. There you are. What is that? What is that? May buhok pa. So this um, particle is visible to the eye. Para siyang tuldok lang pag nakita mo. But as you can see, this is 1,000 uh, times magnified using a digital microscope. And yet again, um, the surgical mask have done its job of filtering this dirt whatever this is <laughs> so before we end this uh, video let's check out the outer portion again yung blue side ng mask and see kung meron pa tayong makikita na kakaiba so yan meron mga strand na talagang prominent yung pagkaka blue nya Pero meron naman mga strand na medyo translucent na light blue and white. And then again, ito yung mga portion. Hindi pala siya square. Parang diamond shape siya na nakakumpol. And again, 
there are dust particles outside so again this surgical mask has been used for about a whole day and this is how it looks like um, magnified 1000 times let's see kung may makita pa tayong interesting dito tayo banda sa merong malaking buhok ayan siguro ang size ng hair na ito is wait, wait, wait lang hindi ko makita na there you are dalawa dalawang hair particles pero sobrang nipis niya para maging um, buhok sa ulo or pilik mata or kilay para siyang balahibo or something so medyo mahaba haba siya so compare natin sa balahibo ko nga so so this is my skin Ayan, para siyang ganyan eh. Yung manipis na balahibo. Saan yan? Ayan. Siguro yung mga naglalagas-lagas na balahibo na nililipad sa hangin. Then, di natin alam na nasisinghot pala natin sila. So, that um that hair strand that hair strand that hair strand could have been mine or galing sa ibang tao which is uh, parang kung iisipin mo nakaka um ano bang tawag doon diri ba yun <laughs> syempre balahibo galing na sa ibang tao na lumilipad sa hangin and chances are masisinghot mo sila kung hindi ka naka face mask so that's how creepy the micro world is mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita pero ayan nandyan sila and there are chances na nakaka inhale tayo ng mga ganitong um, particles nang hindi tayo aware so it's a good thing na rin talaga na nagsusot tayo ng face mask pag lumalabas tayo at least we're not only safe from the virus but we are also safe dun sa mga unnecessary particles na possible nating uh, masinghot yan, ganyan siya kahaba so katin nga natin siya para para malaman natin officially kung gaano kahaba ang hair particle na to so bear with me again I'm still adjusting the ruler medyo mahaba siya talaga eh sensya na So let's start from zero. And oops, then focus natin. And then hanapin natin kung nasa nyo here. Wala 
ata sa ayos. Yan. So, oops, ang hirap i-control. <laughs> Wait lang, hanapin ko ulit. Bear with me. Yan. So, let's start from zero. So, medyo sobra ng konti. Usog ba natin? Sige, usog, usog natin para yan. Oops. Okay. So, from there, oh, no, wala na naman ako. Sobrang hirap ng magnification nito. So easy to get lost on this micro world. Medyo nakakahilo, no? Let's try once again. Yan. Focus natin sa ruler. So let's assume na Nag-start tayo ng 0 dito. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So, tama ba ang bilang ko? Silipin nga natin. Mali. Mali. <laughs> Hindi pala. Ang bilang pala ng 1 is yung mga habang part lang. Okay. But according to the measurement, it's more than 10 millimeters. Saan na ba yung number na yun? Where is the number? Could have been here. Oops. Merong strange looking strand that I encountered dito. Ano kaya yan? <laughs> so imagine, no? masinghot mo yung mga particles na yan. Which is nangyayari naman kahit nasa loob tayo ng bahay. Talaga nakakasinghot tayo ng mga ganyan. Try ko nga i-focus ng nakaangat. Bear with me guys. Sorry kung nakakahilo ang video. Ganito talaga ang micro world. focus natin siya na medyo malayo-layo yan, so then again dito tayo nag-start ng measurement sa zero focus ko lang tapos yung hair strand na yan umabot siya hanggang sa 10 more than 10 millimeters hmm. close to 20 so mga 14 correct me if I'm wrong 14 millimeters siguro no? so ganun kahaba itong hair particles na to and there's another one here at the bottom Okay. 
so that's it guys um, always wear your face mask when going outside so that you will be safe from these dust particles and of course the virus which is really <laughs> invisible to the eye so kahit na gumagamit tayo nitong 1000 times um, magnification definitely uh, hindi natin makita yung coronavirus which is sobrang liit but according to the study this face mask is effective enough to filter those bacteria bacteria ba tawag dun? those virus pasensya na hindi ako scientist but it's so in interesting to see this um, micro world so if you uh, enjoy this video please hit that like and subscribe button to support this channel and in the future tingin pa tayo ng mga iba pang interesting na bagay-bagay uh, na magandang masilip natin um, magnify 1000 times and experience the micro world or sa salita ng Marvel mga quantum something <laughs> so yan so interesting na makita natin tong pattern na to tong diamond pattern na to na hindi visible sa mata but I suppose ang purpose ng mga kumpol na ito ay is to filter those um, smaller particles na hindi natin nakikita kasi yung nakikita lang natin na natrap dito sa mga strand yung mga malalaki so imagine this going inside your lungs this is how creepy the micro world is and if you enjoyed this video, I will try again next time to to look for something else na interesting na ating um, magnify. So again, thank you for watching and see you again soon.